Mike Tyler uh, again. And Mike, can you tell me about how frogs work? I understand they're really good environmental indicators. Yeah, you see, frogs um, are the highest form of life to lay naked eggs in water. As a result, any pollutant present in water is going to have an impact upon the egg and the tadpole. And as a result, uh, because we use so many insecticides and herbicides, heavy metals and so on, uh, what we're doing is really uh, destroying the environment and uh, frogs are the creatures which are telling us this in a very clear fashion. So, so, is it, so what it would mean is that if you have frogs within your environment, does it mean that it's a reasonably healthy, clean environment? Oh yes, and I think a lot of people say, if the frogs are singing, the environment is okay, everything is alright. And I agree with that philosophy. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I, un I understand it was back in 1963 that you con coined this phrase that the frogs were the environmental indicators. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I was told by the government authorities at the time that I didn't know what I was talking about. And I, for example, in the case of the cane toad, which is now, as you know, a major problem, in 1963, I urged the federal and state governments to take action to control this species. And they said, you know, just go away. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I think, therefore, I think I've been it's been demonstrated that what I was saying was correct. I, I don't get any pleasure out of that. I get no satisfaction, but I, I'm convinced that if people had taken note of what I was saying so many years ago, we wouldn't be in this horrendous situation now. Mm. And um, in as much as frogs are environmental indicators, if people have frogs in their backyard and they're croaking away, it means everything's good. Yeah, it, it, things are pretty, pretty right. Pretty right. You're, you're quite right. And if they don't have frogs, are there things that, from based on your experience and understanding, that they could be doing perhaps to clean up their environment and maybe introduce frogs to? to yeah, they've got to be very careful about what they do. Um, for example, um, there are a lot of. Um, uh, uh, sprays and things that people are encouraged to use in their gardens and they shouldn't be doing that. I mean you, uh, you shouldn't be looking at wetting agents for example. What kills frogs are what are called surfactants, soap, uh, essentially soap uh, products and um, uh, because of this uh, the frogs are unable to breathe through their skin and as a result they die. And you mentioned in an earlier conversation that you're working on on the interesting chemical compounds that you can extract or obtain oh, yeah, from yeah, the that, skin of frogs. Yeah, that's a d different issue altogether. And I, I say I'm a little bit pragmatic about conservation. I think that if we can demonstrate that there are benefits to humans from being able to um, uh, show that um, uh, if we care for something we're going to get a benefit in the long run, uh, then people listen more closely than they would have done otherwise. And if there were just two or three points that you were able to summarise that people could do in their day-to-day -day lives to, to try and make sure that we have an environment that's healthy for frogs, what would they be? Uh, the first one would be uh, to stop using uh, insecticides and uh, herbicides. Um, the problem is not, uh, for example, um, there are many compounds that are used as herbicides, but, um, and you think, well, you know, they're okay. It, it's not the herbicide itself, but what are called surfactants. The, they are the soap products which are added to the herbicides to make sure that they disperse across the leaves, make them more effective and therefore economically better. But it's the surfactants that kill the frogs. So pretty much any conventional agricultural produce that's sprayed with herbicides, pesticides, these are all somewhat problematic. Yeah, for, they are. Yeah, that's uh, quite right. And so if you were to look at an environment that was better, you would say move away from those chemical 
uh, products and move yeah. perhaps more towards organic type well, yeah, produce. Well, well, I guess, uh, you see, um, just ignore the surfactants, eliminate them totally. Um, and that way it's more expensive to control weeds and so on. Okay. But uh, you're not despoiling the environment, you know, not killing off the creatures that live there. Yeah. Well, thank you very, very much, Mike, for this insight on frogs and uh, how they work to tell us about the environment. It's a great pleasure.